I've gathered your ideas and I've summarized the characteristics that you pinpointed for each guiding question. For example, many of you addressed the culture question and you characterized the culture in rather negative ways. You highlighted the dehumanization of individuals, like when the doctors treated Mildred as merely an object to be refueled. You talked about the media and distraction, the wasps worn in the ear, the walls of television. Some mentioned the culture of fear and paranoia, the rumblings of planes flying overhead, and fear of just walking in public. And I started to think of our society, the student on campus plugged in and walking by each other, the magnetism of the cell phone during breaks in class, the nightly news, the ever-present fear of violence and war. In terms of education in the novel, you pinpointed the digestion and regurgitation of information, and I thought about the multiple choice SIT and class lectures to sleeping students. You talked about the lack of analysis and question asking, and I thought about the standardized curriculum. You mentioned student passivity, and I thought about the current classroom. Many of you focused on Mildred, and you demonstrated how she seemed almost zombie-like, distracted and depressed, overdosing on pills, uh, playing her role in a scripted reality, and I thought about reality, reality TV, and the medications for our ever-increasing cases of anxiety and depression. But I also thought about Clarice and what you had to say. She is interested in the world, engaged with it, full of questions and curiosity. And I thought about, well, I thought about how that exists too. But how that critical consciousness manifests itself because of an individual's desire to manifest it. How curiosity and interest and engagement are decisions, choices we can make. Good night.